Hello everybody, welcome back, what is happening? Welcome back to Build. So today we're going to be continuing now on with part two of our modern Tesco's tutorial. So remember to smack that like button and let's get started with the build. So inside guys, uh, I just did a little bit of off camera work simply because it would have taken me like, what are you doing now? It would have taken me like five minutes just to do all this stuff. So basically guys, what you're going to want to do is chiseled quartz and dark grey stained clay or just grey stained clay, you know, it's just darker than the light one. Uh, and I've just kind of made this like 1970s like retro pattern flooring, which I just think is really cool and goes with like the modern like futuristic almost outside. I think it's a really cool little move that I did there. So once you've done that guys, because it's not very hard, let's face it, <laughs> um, we're going to find like a material that we want to base this off. Because we've used grey, black and white, right? So why don't we come up with something funky that's going to look cool? Why don't we go green stained clay, you know, that could actually be quite interesting. So let's get this out over here. And I reckon we're going to come one, two, three, four, five blocks, six maybe. Out of four. And then we're going to come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine. Oh yeah, we've got to leave an even side on the other side. So what's that? Four. What are you? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you know what? I'm gonna delete that just so all you OCD people are all happy with me, you know, because people really do get like annoyed with that kind of stuff. So no. If we place that there just like that, would that look cool? You know what? I think that looks fairly awesome. So what we're going to be doing here is making some quick cash registers that are really, really easy to make. You just literally put down a block here. So we'll say there's three people working for this Tesco. So I mean, it's not that big. You don't really need that many people. Uh, we're going to get some signs as well. Just here. You're going to go and sign that. Sign here. And maybe just, we can add a little bit of detail, you know. You could put, like, down here. You could just put, you know, your dollar sign. And then just put, like, 20 point. Oh, five, five oh even, brain, please function, uh, and you're gonna just do that on one of them. But you can go around and put different like price on there. I guess it just gives that that realistic look. And honestly, guys, I've attracted so many haters recently. It's hilarious, honestly, to listen to some of the people that are hating. Honestly, guys, you do make my day when you uh, do that kind of stuff because most of them are actually pretty damn stupid. Um, this one guy who I called sad because he was very sad. Um, Decide, um, decided to go and make 10 accounts because I blocked him um, and comment on my video on 10 accounts. Now every single video I produce, I get 10 dislikes. It was, so I was like, yeah buddy, you've just confirmed to me that you're definitely not sad. So yeah, thanks for that buddy, you're really giving me some inspiration. No, honestly, I found it hilarious. Um, because what this guy doesn't actually realize is, if you dislike a video guys, it gives it a rating, which I learned from a YouTuber called a in Embassy. And you see, once you get a rating or a like or dislike, in other words, uh, your video gets um, put you know further towards that first page. So actually, it puts you higher up, it means that more people will see your content. And yeah, so I want to say thank you for all them dislikes, guys, because um, it's really helping out my channel. So thank you. <laughs> I actually find it hilarious because a lot of people, you know, they don't like haters. Haters aren't very nice people, but you know. Just don't take them seriously. I find them quite funny, to be honest. Uh, that this guy said he wasn't sad and then made 10 accounts. Really does show you, you know, what some people actually do with their lives. So that was nice. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing over here now, is we're going to be making some aisles. Because of course, it's a supermarket, you need aisles. So I was wondering, what should we do? I don't really want to go white sand clay, you know, what normal clay, that could be pretty cool. Let's see what we can do here. So if we just go, let's say we play two away, right? Because you need some space at the front there. And we're going to go place it from here onwards, so you can see that part. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I think that's about good enough, right? And then we'll leave a three gap in between, put another aisle here. And you know what? Do you think we can fit another one in? Or No, actually, that's perfect. See, look, three, three, and then two, because you don't really need much on that side. So then, what do we think? Should we do something cool with this thing? I know what we could do. We could get out some signs. Get rid of that green stain clay. Don't need you. And then literally, on every single block, place this, and then just put some more clay on top. This should actually create something pretty cool. 
but actually we could put some black carpet on top and we could see if that actually looks right. I don't know, because if it does, it's literally gonna look so cool. But if it doesn't, it may look a bit like flimsy, maybe a bit weak and maybe not that good. Guys, if you are wondering that my voice does sound a lot different, I am recording with a brand new mic now, which is the Rode Podcaster. I just got it, let's have a look at that. I'm actually really liking them shelves, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I've got a Rode Podcaster which I replaced because I did used to have a Blue Snowball which was a fantastic mic, you know, I just picked up all them background noises from my fans. My fans weren't that loud when recording but you could hear them and because of that literally the mics just went, well you could hear my background of every video was just like, mm, I was just like, oh go away, go away. So what I did, I bought this Podcaster mic, I heard that it's really good about, you know, blocking out the background noises absolutely amazing that the noise cancellation of course my audio quality should be kept better because you know this mic was a about 130 pounds that's uh just over 200 no actually i think that's about 200 dollars now so yeah this mic's about 200 dollars guys so um yeah hopefully the audio is good you know that's the plan if not then i've kind of got ripped off and wasted all my money uh, and I'm getting a shop mount for and some other cool stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be getting some item frames. Let's get you out. So then, of course, inside the item frames, we're going to put some stuff. So you know what? We can get some water, some just glass bottles, and some enchanting. You know, they don't have to, you know, be like all that stuff. You can pretend they are something. We can't have you there because you're floating and look unrealistic. But you know what? We can have is literally take a gap in between every two. Damn it, it's off by one. All right, so what we're gonna do, see if we can take a gap every three. Do you work, do you work? Again, that's off by one. I think what we're gonna have to do is we'll make some sort of cool funky design. Oh, that, that's gonna work, right? But yeah, so what we can do is put normal bottles uh, at either side and then in the middle you can just have a glass bottle and an enchanting bottle of course you know you could uh, say that the, this is blueberry this is just you know if you're looking to buy glasses you can buy them here this is an energy drink maybe and that can be something else you know minecraft is all about using your imagination so guys we're gonna need to do it here because you know minecraft doesn't have everything that you know better than the imagination you have and that also brings me back to another uh, Hater. He said he started off the uh, conversation by saying this car that was built by my friend looked like a pile of crap and looked like it was, well, he said it was a pile of bricks and then um, I responded to him and said, you know, um, just commented on a Minecraft video saying that we build with bricks and we build with blocks, uh, which he um, he didn't get. No, he was, he was fully convinced that we build with bricks. <laughs> so I was laughing a lot. Um, the guy started to get really Larry, which just led to me laughing even more and it was just hilarious it literally 56 comments this guy left and that's the same guy that actually conveniently made a load of other accounts just to dislike which is helping me so thank you buddy you know what? actually what we could do here is get out some you know different plants for say that could be pretty cool so if we just we can lay it out in the same order so let's just say we have some flat here if you want to get fern tall grass you know what? why not a lot of that could be pretty cool, right? We have a little plant section. So what do we want to have over here? What could we sell? I guess what we could sell is they don't really sell that though. Let's just say they sell like a bicycle parts. So we get, um, if you're on Flows HD, black stained clay, black wool. Uh, gray stained clay is practically black. And if only if you're on Flows HD, because literally bedrock and most texture packs actually looks pretty bad. Uh, it's usually like grey, but let's just say you can buy different tyres here. So if your car breaks down, you know, whatever, you can just come in here and buy some tyres. <laughs> that should work. That's pretty dark, but I'm liking it. These, of course, are like checkout machines, which you have if the uh, people at the till are generally busy. Although most people just can't be bothered to actually go up to the till, so they go there nowadays. Uh, and what we're going to do along here is just go one or two like that. And you know what? Do fences actually, do these actually connect up to the white thing? I don't know if this will work. No, I don't, I don't think they would. So we're going to have that there. We can just imagine that this, you know, opens. Actually, what we... Oh no, we can't do that because it will connect. So you could trap some villagers in here, I guess. If you wanted to do that, you can. Uh, we're going to go get out some oak seats as well. Because, you know, they're not going to want to stand the whole time. They'll completely suck. 
you know, these people, they, they can afford chairs, so we're definitely going to have some chairs. But we're also going to have this, we're going to have a couple of paintings, you know, for sale, because uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, what's a good wall? I reckon over here, right, that can work. So we've got a bunch of bigger paintings. You know what, that, that's pretty awesome. And maybe if we jump another two, we can get another big one, that could be pretty cool. So yeah, we have that, that, and maybe, can we get like a 2 by 2 no, I think that's pretty awesome. So we have some paintings for sale. So we'll just get out our signs. We gotta label these things, of course. So we can say like, um... oh yeah, I've seen people do that. I think we need to place a sign out first before we do that. Oh, that might actually be some cheeky well there. So we're just a line two times one, because you know, that's the size of this. We're doing Minecraft measurements, guys, here, not realistic ones. And then we're just say like what, fusion art. We'll just make this up, guys. It really doesn't matter. Be creative, like I always say. And this is going to be slightly bigger, a two by two. And then you got this humongous one, which is one, two, three, four by four, I believe. Right. So then we're just going to go call this simply white and black <laughs> because it's white and black. Pretty legit answer there, but that's all, all that I can give really. Yeah, so white and black, so you can buy some posters, maybe some, you know, paintings. You can imagine what you want them to be. Uh, so we've got some of them for sale. What else do we have? What else do we actually have in Minecraft? Oh yeah, that's one thing that we need to do in here, guys. We need to add some lighting because it's getting pretty damn dark. So if we get out some fences, like here, and then we actually never I could look quite funky, I just don't know if it will work, you know, trial and error is definitely going to be a huge section of this build, because remember we got snow's made, we've got walls made out of snow, and then we have got uh, windows made out of ice, so you know, this is literally like meltdown, so I guess I really like these, but why is you not connecting, I know what we can do, we can get out some black carpet, because I would say normal carpet, but I don't know if that will actually properly work. And you know, it just actually looks like it's connected now. It's not randomly floating in midair like it was before. So we can go do that along here as well. So let's just go one, two. I don't know if these are going to look a bit too old, bulky. Maybe they are. Maybe we need to change the position of stuff. I don't know. But I think that should be alright. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, they're futuristic lights, I guess. And then what we can do around them is just put some signs just to, you know, hide that texture of the glowstone, which personally I don't really like. If you guys like it, uh, for all means go leave it, but I just think it just adds a little bit, makes it look a little bit more modern, and just, you know, looks cooler. Because at the moment, guys, I am using vibrant shaders. I know even if I do say I'm still going to get a ton of comments saying, what shade is bad, what shade is bad. But, you know, I'm using vibrant, so if you guys want to get it, that is what it's called, and the lighting on this shade is bad, you know, it's pretty damn beautiful. So let's um, just put glowstone here. Well, I hope this doesn't melt the uh, snow. I think it does, but that is a setting, guys, a legitimate Minecraft where you can just go, you know, turn melting snow off. So that's a cool little feature right there. We put that like that. We can just have a little light there for the side. Uh, any other tiny little details? Uh, well, this is only one of thickness, but I think you could add some little shower. So if we just get out some quartz, So if you just go like, put like one there, say, one here, and maybe what is that, three, one, two, three, there we go, put one here, like that. You could just add some like little shelves in there where you can just pretend some stuff is. Uh, we should probably add some shelves back here as well, simply because you know they're probably going to need some storage for bits and bobs like pens, because you know, after all this is a test guys. And look at that guys, how cool is that looking? Really, really simple, really effective, and it's a nice little less build, you know, I'm liking it. Just saying over here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just add a little uh, side entrance. I think I explained that, but I'm not sure if I did it off camera. Cause sometimes I accidentally go build and I realize, oh yeah, that's a let's build. What are you doing? So make sure you do replace all the grass around here with some cracked stone because cracked stone is gonna be needed. So if we just run through here, guys, delete all the blocks, just like so. Then we can just go all the way around the back. Then we can add the stairs disabled section at the back maybe putting a couple of windows we're gonna have to do that from the inside to make sure we don't go through any paintings or interior details because that would kind of suck 
And then of course, we're gonna put some lights around here. I do a little bit of off-camera tweaking just to show you guys the optional uh, stuff that you can do for this build. That's if you're really into, you know, uh, what do you call it again? You know, if you're really into like proper detailed stuff that you want like the best of the best pretty much, in other words, uh, then there's gonna be a little section at the end of the video of you guys, you know, the uh, guys that like their stuff awesome, pretty much. So I'm just gonna fill this in quickly. Then we're gonna add some sand slopes like we have around the front for just a back exit for the staff I guess because you know no one can really go out oh that's another really cool little feature we can add in the interior like you know you have them security like uh, little scanners to check if anyone's been you know nicking so we can just put them in I guess that would actually look pretty cool but this is also going to be a little optional thing for people that like like you know the awesome stuff so we're going to get out some white stained glass you can only do this if you have Carpenter's mod, but you will be happy to know. If you look in my description, guys, you will be able to find a link to a Carpenter's mod tutorial. If you guys want to get it yourself, experience this awesome game-changing mod, please feel free. You're going to be able to do that. So if we just fill this in now, you've now got them little security scanners like that. That is actually a really neat little detail. You know what, I'm liking the interior of this. I think it does look pretty cool. So I think what we should do here as well, just add a little window in there. Uh, anywhere else we can just add some windows. You know what, I think that's gonna be enough for interior. I'm just gonna have to add on to the exterior now. I think it actually looks pretty good how it's so plain and white. You know, not too much detail, it's not over red, but it just looks just, you know, right. So what we could do here actually is we could have section around the back here just some more shapes so we can add through this so if we just extend this up here this is going to hide them back plates around there and it's also just going to add to the build a bit so i think we need to bring it up like one more does that look right that way let's check what that looks like yeah and then if we just get out some snow just to level this off all this is doing is hiding them back ugly showing details from the uh, court stairs and uh, it just looks nice, adds a bit more to the build I guess, so it works in all ways. So there we go, that's a nice little detail. These ones don't really matter too much, I think they look alright. So we're just going to go leave them. We're going to have a little star exit, but remember to get out some sand and just go around the build here at the back because of course we do have, you know, a huge hovering dirt wall, which does not need to be there. It looks kind of ugly, so we have to get rid of that. Course. So if you just go around to perimeter around the edge, and that should be our build pretty much done, guys. So if we just shape this here. All right, it's taking a while. There we go. All done. So then you're just going to need to change these two blocks in the front here. Just rapidly delete them. Get on it, guys. And then we're just going to put a little slope. The you know. So when the star finishes, star. And then I will just cut out the video, guys, make a few cool little changes, add a little car park for you guys that just want, you know, that extra bit of detail just to make this build really pop. Then uh, that section at the end of the video is going to be there for you guys. You guys that just simply want a Tesco in your, you know, city, plot, whatever. I think the video should end here for you guys in a second. Let's just go change the time. This is getting pretty damn dark. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove two blocks here, we're going to come back some, put that sand, put that sand, put that sand, and then we're just going to get out some quartz stairs. This is just going to be the back entrance for just, you know, the people that work here. You know, not very fancy, but it doesn't really need to be because it's just for staff members, you know, all the luxury stuff is of course for the uh, buyers because they're the ones that are going to be spending money in the shop. Like this. I think another cool little feature would actually be to go around the corners of the building as well, guys. Uh, let's just get out some white stained glass here, just to add a bit more detail. Oh yeah, and that was the other thing I was going to do. I keep remembering all these little ideas I've had that I've got previously, but you know, they all come back to me now. So what I was going to do over here was I was going to delete, you know, some rows of, you know, this. Put in some grass. And then just add some, you know, some of these, just 
just over there like that. So as you look, see how much better does that look? And sorry guys about this. These things will derp out from time to time. They're minecarts, they're a little bit unreliable. I guess you could put an algorithm back there to stop them sliding around, but you know, it's not too bad. So what we're gonna do now, just to light up this build at night time, I would recommend just going around on some of the corners of the build. So like for here, for example, you know, so people can actually see at night. If they were gonna come to a Tesco, they're not gonna to wanna to come to a Tesco that's pitch black at night time. They don't wanna to come to one that you can see clearly. And we put another one here. Guys, that is the build done. I'm going to meet you guys back in a second. Stay tuned. We're going to make a few little tweaks to the build. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you love the end result. I'll see you guys in a second. Don't go anywhere. Okay, everybody. So, welcome back. So, sorry, I do apologize. I realized while, you know, compressing the video before I did this that I kind of have my mic on the wrong setting. So, if I sounded a bit quiet and it sounded a bit weird compared to how lively and great it sounds now, do apologize for that but you know what it still sounds pretty cool so I've made all them little changes I'm just gonna fly around now we now have an Aquatus build which is the Alfa Romeo absolutely gorgeous build buddy I love it uh, we've got a small little compact car park we're not really gonna need much of a car park for a small little Tesco's like this with a few derpy quick designs of bikes that I came up with we also got some nice lighting. That's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna fly up and show you what the build looks like from up top. You know, it's it's a fairly good sized test guys. I love how everything is laid out in like sections. You know, we've got like the entrance, we've got like our trolleys, our stairs, our disabled stairs, our car park, you know, we've got some nice little bits and bobs of just, you know, kind of like landscaping and just greenery. I think it looks really good. So guys, I wanna hear your opinions on what this build looks like. You know, haters, go hate. Thank you for them ratings. <laughs> Keep at it, please, because you're helping me out so much on YouTube. Um, like is like, of course. And please definitely go subscribe. Setup tour is coming out soon at 2,000 subscribers. I say 2,000, you know, and soon. <laughs> they should be the other way around. My words kind of just mucked up in my head there for a bit. But um, because we're just going to hit 300 so soon recently, every down getting like 20 subs is so, so cool. And it's just increasing. I'm hitting like a mini channel boom at the moment, which is just absolutely awesome. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. Uh, stay active and I'll see you guys in my next... Oh yeah, that's the new thing. I'm recording with another guy who's on YouTube, makes really cool modern houses. Uh, it does kind of similar stuff to me really. Uh, we're going on walk and we're doing a build review tonight. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.